In this video, I'm going to use Cisco's viral product in order to demonstrate how to practice EIGRP for the CCNA routing and switching ICND-1, ICND-2 exams, or the composite exam, of course. So let me right-click my sample topologies folder and create a new topology. I'll name this EIGRP underscore practice, and we'll finish that up and we'll go into our design mode for this little topology that we're going to create. Now, I don't need much uh, by way of devices in order to practice EIGRP, so let me just go ahead and click the iOS V router, drop one of those in, and then I will go down and just use the simple unmanaged switch. I don't need to practice anything with switching, so I'll use the simple unmanaged switch, and then I'm going to go up and grab another iOS V device. I'll then connect those devices. So I'll drop in my connections here between those devices and then just let me grab the select tool and move this so you can see it a bit better. There we go. So there's our simple two router topology that we will use in order to test EIGRP's configuration. Now I'll click on the topology in the background there and what I'm going to do is indicate for the topology from an auto netkit configuration in viral that I'd like CDP to be running. That might come in handy for me. And as far as the V4 addressing goes, I'll accept the defaults. But as far as routing goes, I want to say that I don't want any interior gateway or exterior gateway protocols running. So I'm going to turn off the enabling of routing protocols. So there we go, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna go up and launch the simulation. It'll say, okay, do you wanna save the changes you've made? I say yes, and we'll launch our simulation and look at it in the simulation view. I'll resize this window because I don't need to see the switch, just the two routers, and in a few moments here when this is spun up, we'll do our EIGRP practice. So I'm going to right click the router one device and telnet to its console port right here in viral. And notice it asks us if we want to enter the initial configuration dialog. And at this point I realized that I've made a mistake. What did I do wrong? Well, I didn't build any initial configurations on these devices. So I didn't get the IP addressing automated by viral. All right, no problem. What I'm going to do is shut down this console and I am going to stop this simulation. I won't extract configurations before stopping. I will close any open terminal views. We don't have any of those. And let me restart this simulation the correct way. So the step that I missed was to click here on the build initial configurations button. So I won't view the changes, nor view the changes in Auto Netkit's visualization, but we just had the IP addressing dropped in that we wanted, and notice there isn't the configuration of routing protocols. Perfect. Now that the initial configurations are done, now let me actually launch the simulation. All right, so let's try this again. I'm gonna right click Telnet to the console port, and let's hit carriage return on the keyboard. And there's our prompt, great. And we'll log in with Cisco as the password. I'll do a show IP interface brief, and I'll see that our data interface is 10.0.0.5, and then our loopback that was created for us is 192.168.0.1. Let's try and ping the other device, which would be at 10.0.0.6. This is the R2 device and hopefully we can ping it, we can. So we're ready for our EIGRP configuration. I'll say router EIGRP 100, and then for a network, I'll say 192.168.0.0 with a mask of 0.0.0.255. That'll get EIGRP running on the loopback for us. And then for our 10 network, we'll say, we're going to do this for 10.0.0.0 with a wildcard mask of 0.0.255. So we're making sure that we run EIGRP on this interface right here. And notice we are excluding the interface that's for management purposes in viral that we will not mess with. I will end the configuration 
and then I will go over to the R2 device. I will tell that to its console port and we do a mirrored configuration over here. So we're just gonna do our configure terminal, router, EIGRP100, we're gonna do net 192.168.0.0 with our wildcard mask of 24 bits, and then the net of the 10 network with the same 24-bit wildcard mask. We're gonna end the configuration. We see our EIGRP adjacency has come up. If I do show IP route EIGRP, we can see that we learned the loopback IP address of the R1 device, and we should be able to ping that loopback IP address now that we have successfully practiced with EIGRP and we can. So a demonstration here of a couple of things, how we can use viral to quickly spin up an IP addressed topology to practice EIGRP with, and we also saw what can go wrong. In my case, I forgot to build the initial configurations before running the simulation. Now remember, when I click the stop button, I have an important decision to make for this simulation. As far as closing the terminal views, that's a great idea. So it'll close up those terminal views we launched for us. But the decision we have is, do we want to extract the configurations? Do I want this saved with our EIGRP configuration in place? If I do, then I would check this button. If I don't, if I want to start this simulation, which is the most likely scenario without our configuration, so I can practice it again, maybe doing it a different way, then I will not extract the configuration when I stop this running simulation. Thanks so much for watching this video, everyone.